This is not Vegas, or Mexico, or Spain. This is Batumi, an up-and-coming seaside destination that has been captivating the interest of tourists worldwide. Welcome to the last stop of our four-month adventure through this magical country of Georgia. Now, let's explore. Welcome, Welcome to, to Batumi. Batumi! Also known as the Vegas of the Black Sea, but instead of gambling our life savings away, yeah. we are going to be exploring this very interesting part of Georgia and also our last stop on our road trip through this magical country. Yes. It's been... It's been so <laughs> great. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is our last stop. And so far, I will say it already looks so unique yeah. and different from every other stop we've we've had. In oh, for Georgia. sure. Definitely not what you picture when you think of the country of Georgia, but yeah. that's just why we're so excited. Today, we're gonna be exploring the city and surrounding areas, giving your honest first impressions of Batumi. Is it worth visiting? What is it like? Let's explore. Europe Square and honestly just being here alone you can kind of get a taste of Batumi in general because there's so many different architectural styles just surrounding this square yeah. very beautiful super peaceful now in the morning and just across the street there's also one of the few astronomical clocks in the world and if you saw our Prague vlog yeah like two weeks ago two weeks ago we saw the astronomical <laughs> clock in Prague and then we're seeing this one again yeah one of the few and we already saw it too so, so you could let us know in the comments which one you think is more beautiful yeah so super excited to explore more of Batumi and next we're gonna check out the Batumi Cathedral so let's go Cafe, which has a super unique vibe. It's all pink, filled with these beautiful decors. And what we got to eat was, first and foremost, our favorite Georgian dessert, Sidniki, which we tried for the first time in Tbilisi. We also got some eggs, mushrooms, buckwheat, some shakshuka, but it does look very different, and of course, some very pretty drink so let's dig in Look how creamy it is can you see that so that's like cottage cheese inside and they're like deep fried wow all right let's go mm. Mm. oh my gosh it's so perfect definitely my favorite dessert this is the best Sirnika we've had in Georgia. Like I said, almost like a donut. It's not too heavy, still a little bit light, that perfect balance. Sweet, but not too sweet. It's like my perfect dessert. Oh my gosh, I love Sirniki. And right now we're at the seafront promenade, which is like this way that goes for about seven kilometers yeah. along the sea. <laughs> so obviously you can walk to take in the views, you can rent bikes, or you can also rent electric scooters. <laughs> and if you're not new here, you know that that is our very favorite mode of transportation. For sure. Best. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're gonna do to get to our next destination. So let's go. Let's go. go to McDonald's yeah not ever. even in the US <laughs> but today of course we had to make an exception because what you see behind us is McDonald's mm -hmm. I know it looks like this weird kind of structure with a watery moat around it but it's this really cool not just McDonald's in Batumi 
but yeah. overall structure and it's super packed and popular. Yeah, but it's really cool inside as well. And if you go all the way up, there's yeah. like this garden. Yeah, they have a garden inside. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a, almost like a spaceship or something. It's really, really neat. And that's clearly consistent here in Batumi. Yes. Is the inconsistent architecture, like all types, the modern, almost like Latin colonial, something you would see in Mexico or Brazil yeah. or Yeah, you know, Spain. like Batumi is known as the Vegas of the Black Sea, yeah. but it gives off so many different vibes. Like sometimes I feel like I'm in Miami or Brazil yeah. or parts of Europe like Spain or even Prague. It's like yeah. so eclectic. And a testament to the different architecture too is just, you can see that buildings, even like um, hotel chains go out of their way yeah. to make their buildings very unique to go with the vibe of Batumi, which is yeah. super cool. I think it's just a very, it's definitely a lot of development happening here in the area yeah. that we've seen, like a bunch of construction and definitely a fast growing area here in Georgia. Yes. But yeah, super, it looks like just kind of artistic and free range when it comes to a lot of the new structures and buildings, but yes. really cool vibe overall. Yeah, really interesting. I'm loving the vibe so far, Batumi is really so, great yeah so far i think it's my favorite in georgia my, thus far mine so too let's yeah. see if it continues <laughs> enough of Georgia Done. and that's why we're here in Turkey <laughs> now I'm just kidding we're not sick of Georgia and we're not in Turkey but we're only five steps away from the Georgia Turkey border yeah. we're here about 30 minute drive outside Batumi at Sarpy Beach which has right on the border which is super cool yeah. you see uh, this beautiful mosque and the Turkish flag over on that side and over on this side we have the Georgian and EU flag and a Georgian Orthodox Church yeah, but being this close to Turkey is bringing all the feelings yes. from our first adventures in Hobart's abroad. So actually, if you've been with us in Turkey, comment below because we're super interested to know. Yeah, Turkey still is one of our favorite countries. Yes. We'll let you know later how it compares with Georgia. Yeah. But the reason we're here isn't for the border. Yeah. It's actually for the beach because Sarpy Beach is one of the, if not the number one top beach in the Batumi area, known for obviously the beautiful views and cliff jumping, which we're really excited for yeah. and we'll do in a little bit. So we'll just kind of relax here on the beach, escape the city. And so let's dive in. It looks way further from up here, but we're gonna do it. Georgia, we decided to pig out on this Georgian feast and order our favorite Georgian cuisine that we've kind of experimented with over our time here in the country. So first what we have is this kind of Georgian chicken soup. So we have chicken, egg, garlic, smells amazing, accompanied with warm Georgian bread. Georgia being one of the first places on earth that bread was even created, which is insane. So of course they have to have amazing bread. Of course, kachapuri. This is kind of this bread dish with egg and butter. Extremely comforting, rich, and delicious. I got some uh, local mushroom soup and shek maruli, which is more kind of chicken in this garlic cream sauce. Everything smells amazing. Starting with the kachapuri, here's the way that we were taught to eat this. So you start from the out and work your way in. So we kind of take one of these ends here to start, just a piece of bread. We stick it here in the egg, kind of break it up, and then break that barrier of that kind of coagulated top and mix together. And this is crazy though. This is deeper than any kachapuri we've had. Look how deep it goes. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Yeah, so you just get a good mixing in, get a good amount on that bread. Oh gosh, I'm so excited guys. All right, still warm, here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. 
I know it's not good for me, but it's so good. This is like perfect, in my opinion, after a long day of like hiking or walking, just so comforting. This might put me right to sleep though, but amazing. I don't know about Yulin, but Batumi is my favorite place in Absolutely. Georgia, period. Yes. Like if I was gonna live in Georgia, this is where I would choose to live. It's like, you know, as a digital nomad, this is yeah. but very it, nice. It, but it also definitely has super vacation vibes oh, too. Yeah. So like if Costo is your thing, you're definitely going to love Batumi. And it's funny, like towards the end of the day, I was looking at all those lights. Um, he, like a downtown Batumi and the word yeah. that came to my mind was also magical which is funny because yeah. it is so different from the other parts of Georgia that we've yeah, been because Georgia is kind of known for tradition traditional yes. food traditional music traditional the, uh, religion architecture architecture and, yeah yeah and this was like a different Modern. type of magical it definitely reminded me of Vegas and you know that lively sort of like nightlife yeah. but oh my gosh i'm so glad we came to batumi my favorite it's beautiful for sure food both times like just choosing restaurants were great yes. Some two of the best restaurants we've had in georgia in happened georgia. to just be yes. here that we chose uh, yeah love the sea and kind of the sea vibe i think it changes the culture a little bit when you're by the water yeah the weather felt amazing really artistic too all the architecture just yes. they're experimenting so yeah it seemed like people were very creative here yeah and it's definitely fast growing so i'm super curious to see where batumi goes but yes. for us you know on, honest kind of first impression honest review yes 10 out of 10 batumi amazing. is great we really if you're coming to georgia this, definitely yeah. come here and yes. yeah or if it's not already on your bucket list consider adding it because yeah it's yes. definitely worth it and if you're into mountains there's definitely some amazing mountains here the yes. Caucasus mountains are right on par with the Alps uh, and with Patagonia and Argentina and Chile yeah and, and yeah. honestly wow. this was a road trip of a lifetime so stay tuned wow. for a summary of a road trip if you're interested yeah, in doing this we'll same be linking thing. all of that in the description section comment section of this video yes and as always honestly loved having you along this adventure and hope you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and check out our other adventures for more yes God bless you and your travels I look forward to seeing you in the next one until then bye, bye.